Micah chapter 6. Hear now what the Lord says. Arise, plead your case before the mountains, and let your, the hills hear your voice. Hear, O you mountains, the Lord's complaint, and you strong foundations of the earth. For the Lord has a complaint against his people, and he will contend with Israel. O my people, what have I done to you? And how have I wearied you? Testify against me. For I brought you up from the land of Egypt. I redeemed you from the house of bondage. And I sent before you Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. O my people, remember now what Balak, king of the Moab, counseled. And what Balaam, the son of Beor, answered him. From Cassia Grove to Gidgal, that you may know the righteousness of the Lord. With what shall I come before the Lord, and bow myself before the high God? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, ten thousand rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? He has shown you, O man, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you but to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. The Lord's voice cries to the city, Wisdom shall see your name. Hear the rod who has appointed it, and, and there yet the treasures of wickedness, in the house of the wicked, in the short measure that is an abomination. Shall I count pure those with the wicked scales, and with the bag of deceitful weights? For her rich men are full of violence, her inhabitants have spoken lies, and their tongue is deceitful in their mouth. Therefore I will also make you stick by striking you, by making you desolate because of your sins. You shall eat but not be satisfied. Hunger shall be in your midst. You may carry some away, but shall not save them. And what you do rescue, I will give over to the sword. You shall sow, but not reap. You shall tread the olives, but not anoint yourselves with oil. And make sweet wine, but not drink wine. For the statues of Omri are kept. All the works of Ahab's house are done. And you walk in their counsels, that I may make you a desolation, and your inhabitants a hissing. Therefore you shall bear the reproach of my people. Chapter 7, Micah. Woe is me, for I am like those who gather summer fruits, like those who glean vintage grapes. There is no cluster to eat of the first ripe fruit which my soul desires. The faithful man has perished from the earth, and there is no one upright among men. They all lie in wait for blood. Every man hunts his brother with a net, that they may successfully do evil with both hands, the prince asks for gifts, the judge seeks a bribe, and the great man utters his evil desire. So they scheme together. The best of them is like a briar. The most upright is sharper than the thorn hedge. The day of your watchman and your punishment comes. Now shall be their perplexity. Do not trust in a friend. Do not put your confidence in a companion. Guard the doors of your mouth. From her who lies in your bosom, for son dishonors father, daughter rises against her mother. Daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, a man's enemies are the men of his own household. Therefore I will look to the Lord, I will wait for the God of my salvation, my God will hear me. Do not rejoice. Over me, my enemy, when I fall, I will arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord will be a light to me. I will bear the indignation of the Lord, because I have sinned against him. Until he pleads my case and executes justice for me, he will bring me forth to the light, and I will see his righteousness. Then she who is my enemy will see, and shame will cover her, who said to me, Where is the Lord your God? My eyes will see her. Now she will be trampled down like mud in the streets. In the day when your walls are to be built, in that day the decree shall go far and wide. 
In that day they shall come to you from Assyria and the fortified cities, from the fortress to the river, from sea to sea, and mountain to mountain. Yet the land shall be desolate because of those who dwell in it and for the fruit of their deeds. Shepherd your people with your staff, the flock of your heritage, who dwell solitarily in a woodland, in the midst of the Carmel, let them feed in Bashan and Gilead as in days of old. As in the days when you came out of the land of Egypt, I will show them wonders. The nation shall see and be ashamed of their might. They shall put their hand over their mouth. Their ears shall be deaf. They shall lick the dust like a serpent. They shall crawl from their holes like snakes of the earth. They shall be afraid of the Lord our God and shall fear because of you. Who is a God like you? Pardoning iniquity and passing over the transgression of the remnant of his heritage. He does not retain his anger forever because he delights in mercy. He will again have compassion on us and will subdue our iniquities. You will cast all our sins into the depths of the sea. You will give truth to Jacob and mercy to Abraham, which you have sworn to our fathers from days of old. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for your word. He said here, he does not retain in his anger forever because he delights in mercy. Thank you, Lord, for that mercy that you have given unto us. People of the world, remember John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The secret, guys, is believing Jesus Christ in order for us to be saved. Good morning, good evening, people of the world. Have a blessed day to all of you.